Is that a nodule from episcleritis? Or is that an inflamed pinguicula? Or is that a flectanule? Or is that something worse like CIN or OSSN? Some of these lesions can look pretty similar, right? Well, I have a short clip for you for situations like these. Check it out. Here's another picture of a nodular episcleritis, just so that you have another um, picture to compare to. Again, you're looking at kind of like that fleshy nodule. You're not getting any dragging of the blood vessels that you might see in something like a pinguecula. So that is telling us this is probably not a pinguecula and more of like a nodule um, seen in episcleritis. The pinguecula is also going to be much closer usually to the limbus. And of course you would have more of a history. So these patients won't just, you know, randomly get a pinguecula out of nowhere. And of course, um, this nodule is going to improve and disappear um, once treatment is over. Some of these blood vessels, you might be looking at like feeder vessels. Um, so that's something you definitely want to follow up with. Otherwise, what are you worried about? Yeah, something like this. Okay, so these are true feeder vessels. The lesion on the right is actually the same condition. It's just more leukoplakic. Okay, so that just means full of keratin. Okay, so if you said sin, that is right. Okay, so that stands for conjunctival intraepithelial neoplasia. Okay, this is cancer, right? This is malignant, although it is carcinoma in situ, so it doesn't go past the basement membrane. So it is and has less chance for malignancy. Okay, so once it's removed, we tend to be in the clear. See how both of these nodules are invading the cornea? Okay, that is not normal in a benign lesion. So if you have a growth from the conge into the cornea, that's not a good sign. How about something like this? So it may look like a conge papilloma when you're first looking at it because of the arborizing blood vessels. Okay, arborizing meaning tree-like. The one worrisome quality here though is again, we're moving from the conge onto the cornea and invading a tissue. That is not normal. So this is CIN again, mimicking a conjunctival papilloma. All right, finally, one more mimicker here. What is this? Those are good guesses. There are some more worrisome characteristics here again, and I'm probably hinting at the same thing. So hopefully you've got this on the top of your mind. Look, we're moving from the conj onto the cornea again. If this was truly a flictenule, this is what a flictenule looks more like. Okay, so again, we're not invading. We're usually on the conj, or you can have a corneal flectenule, okay, one or the other. What other signs would you see with a flectenule, though? Probably some staph bleph, okay, because this is a reaction to the exotoxins in the staph, um, causing a hypersensitivity reaction on the eye. Okay, so this will improve over time. So again, a CIN is malignant up until the basement membrane, and the basement membrane is intact. OSSN is what happens once that malignancy breaks through the basement membrane. Okay, so now we're worried about regional infiltration into those lymph nodes, much more worried about its metastatic capability, okay? Hey guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. This was just a sneak peek. For more awesome clinic content like this, please subscribe to KMK's new clinic, Power Up course. This is the number one requested course by practicing optometrists. We have an extensive library, 37 hours, 100 videos to help you dominate any condition that ends up in your chair. Efficient and practical, this course is our best work yet. You can sign up by clicking on the link in the description. I'll see you on the next video.